Hello everybody, my name's Idendris, and welcome back to Black Book. Last time, we went chasing after Philemon the Shepherd, who was actually the Leshi who captured everyone and uh, kept stealing villagers. So we took off after him. We uh, got a little sidetracked with, like, Leshi mind manipulation, like, leading us astray for a little bit. We purposely let it lead us astray for the extra pages in here. But, uh, eventually we managed to track him down. With the help, again, of the raven who keeps popping up. Who turns out to actually be the Sib Philemon's brother. Another son of the Leishi. Who is trying to stop his brother and wake up their father. And so, we were given the choice to uh, side with the raven... Or, stop, or side with Philemon. And we went with the Raven, and we stopped Philemon, sucked him into the book. I, I think he got sucked into the book. We definitely stopped him. I think he's gone for good. But then the Raven told us to come meet him, and we were going to wake up their father. And we just sort of left things at this dialogue. But, uh, we, we managed to do, like, 250 damage or something like that in one turn. So, um, we're very strong at this point. We basically one-shot the boss. Or, technically speaking, we one-shot the boss in, like, the first stage. We ended up fighting him twice. Once in human form, and once in true Leishi form. It ended up being a quite close fight the second time around, but we one-shot him the first time and did most of his damage in one shot on the second. Anyway, that's about where we left things, and we, uh, had just gotten back to a clearing where we could rest. So, um, let's do this dialogue bit. Leishi's son told me to go north, to the old field. I better not waste any time. Every day counts. Okay. So, we got some torts to deal with. Welcome back, my friends. Oh, not you, uh, you... You... Oh, thank you for the herb. Come on. Thank you. Racking up sin, so we have a whole bunch of money now, at least. There we go. Any items to deal with? I don't think so. Um, we did get this item, which is just better than the world we bought in, like, the third episode or something like that. So, uh, that will really be really good if we switch back to a defense build. And we did actually get Dark Eloquence. Like, we hit level 15 just about at the end, and we managed to get Fierce Words 3 and Dark Eloquence, which just means we're going to be so much stronger when we get back in the battle. But, uh, I think that's all we have to do. Anything in the book to deal with? No, we have all the pages for this seal. And I think I'm good with the lo layout. Loadout. But, um... We're about to break the fifth seal. We're going to get some new cards. I think I need to, like, start trimming it down again. But anyway, book merchants. This strange man sold Zagafers to old Igor sometimes. How did you get here? We're lost in the woods. <laughs> Seek me out, girl, and I will grant you no. Um... Eh, I don't really care. The wisdom. That lies upon Do we reset that skills though? Is not that of madness. You cannot paint um, Nah. The only the only skill I would probably get rid of is demonology at this point, and I'll switch it out for like keys two or something like that. Not that important. So goodbye, friends. Let's head to the dry Vium. Vium? In old abandoned field, why doesn't who why doesn't it have any trees? Oh yeah, and our task is to wake the Leishi up. The son of Vorsa, the Leishi, will wake him up when you get to his lair. Vorsa will set you free and break the next seal of the black book. In this old abandoned field, neither trees nor crops grow. The only things standing are old poles and two thin birches. The Leshi's son told you to tie their tops together to find the way to his father. We'll do it, but I want to look around first. This empty field emanates sorceress power. You sense that there used to be a church here, 
or more likely a Permian shrine. Okay. The item thing not going away. There we go. Oh, that's actually the damage absorption herb. I didn't actually realize what that was. No, that was a real good pickup. Mythology of the Russian North. The Russian North is a territory both curious and strange. Apart from the areas around Novgorod, Russians are by no means its native inhabitants. The Russian North and the Urals were populated in several stages, and each time Russian traditions collided with those of the finno ugric Omi, Volgols, Mari, Mordvins, and Turkic, I, Tatar, is it Tatars? Tatars? I don't remember how that's pronounced. Bashkirs. Peoples. There were not only differences in language, but also in rites, rituals, and beliefs. Interpen interpenetration took place on every level. Each nation had its own household spirits, water spirits, and forest spirits. With the increased contact with these peoples, Russian Leishis, Domovoys, and Vodjanois adopted the traits and functions that of their neighbors and vice versa. That of their... Okay. Well, let's tie the branches tie together. The oh. The trees together, and a portal opens between them to the domain of the Elder Leshi. Okay. Interesting. Step in. Ignatiev Creek. I can see ribbons on the trees along the creek. But magic portals way. There's an old birch wood near the creek. The trees are gnarly with age. Their roots covered with moss. Red ribbons are tied to their trunks. A method peasants use to aid those who have lost their way in the forest. Let's inspect them. These ribbons look like the ones you saw before you got to Nimzia. Okay, cursed. You shouldn't curse your children at noon or midnight. In between places, oh no. If you lose your patience and saw something like Leishi take you, chances are he'll do just that. Not like this happened to our neighbors. Their son, Mitya, an unruly little rascal, was acting up some way or another, and his mother, in the heat of the moment, said, Leishi take you, Mitya. The boy calmed down, or so it seemed. When she called for him at dinner time, she couldn't find him anywhere. Where had he gone? The knowers told her that since she had told the Leishi to take him, they had done so. What could she do? All over the village, men gathered and went into the forest, calling for the boy, and tied red ribbons on the branches. If the boy had gone lost, he could find his way to the village by these ribbons. Mitya was nowhere to be found for an entire day. Then his mother arranged an offering for the Leishi and left it on a tree stump by Dry Gully. Okay, everyone's just like, evil spirit to take you away, and then are surprised when the evil spirit takes them away. Like, that's all of these stories. <laughs> Anyway, let's follow the ribbons. The ribbons lead you further along the stream. Suddenly, several drowners jump out of it, attracted by the black book. Rude. Get, get away from me. <laughs> Come at me. Those aren't drowners. <laughs> we know what drowners are. Those aren't it. Healing all. Cannot use black pages. You die this turn. I don't care what I have to do. You die. <laughs> um. What have I got? Four, 15 to all. Cause pages are actually stronger now. Forgot about that. And well-versed pages are even better. Oh, hold on, hold on. Arapolo. Kane. I think you're dead? You're probably dead. Um... Let's give Arapolo new chain. Oh, that's even better than I thought it would be. That's 8 damage to all enemies and then 6 damage to all enemies. I thought it would just be 6 damage on top, but no. That is awesome. That is I love that. Need to remember that one. So Parapolo only gets stronger. 15. 22, Parapolo, dead, wasted cane there. <laughs> I take a lot of damage there, but it was worth it. If I had realized I was going to die, this thing died that turn too. Cane on you, you probably die. 
Eh, how do I want to do this? Moon Brothers, you. Actually, no, you don't die now, but that's probably fine. Um, draw two. What have I got? What have I got? Wipe three. Now they're both dead. No problem. And sure, why not? I end up taking some damage on the turn, but it's uh, on the battle, but it's not too bad. I don't care about any of the pages. We can continue on. Creek Mouth. Here's where that creek ends. Following the ribbons that have remained intact over the years, you find the forgotten old banyas and peek inside. Light shines through the rotten ceiling and illuminates the skeleton of a child. Yeah. Judging by the leftover clothes, he was one of the Komi Yazvins, as the Nyemzya villagers say. It's hard to tell how long the body has laid here, alone and forgotten. Poor kid. First. She spread out a clean napkin and, as is customary, placed a glass of vodka and loaf and a loaf of bread on it, as ladies don't bake bread. She then said, Master of the forest, as you took my son, may you also return him. Then she crossed herself three times, bowed into the ground, and the next day Mitra walked out of the forest, thin and ragged. First, Grandpa Leishi led me around the forest because I forgot to turn my clothes inside out, he said. Then he dragged me through the treetops and brought me to his house. There is a woman in his house, and she whispered to me, don't eat anything inside this isba other than mushrooms and berries. Once I ate some bread, and now I will forever be a servant here. I did as she said. Once I broke a loaf of bread in half. It had cow dung and goat droppings inside instead of nuts. Grandpa Leishi spun around a bit, brought me out to on the porch, kicked me in the rear and said, Go home then, your mother's been waiting for you. Poor kid. <laughs> I feel bad for the kids in all of these stories. We're gonna bury this one. You carry out the remains, dig out a grave, and place the bones inside. You unexpectedly pierce yourself Ow, uh, with a bone splinter. No good and deed. Sprinkle the burial place with blood. No good deed goes unpunished. Let's look in the stove. There's no soot or coals left in the stove. Silence surrounds you. Even the Baniks have abandoned this place. I guess we're off. Chud Fields. A strange place. An ancient one. Everything around you looks majestic and solemn. The trees that surround you are thousands of years old. Strange spirits walk between them, the likes of which you see for the first time. Tiny forest chorts are trying to catch them. Demons look out of place here. When they notice you, they attack. Rude. Find then a vent. Okay. White crown, you're going to stop me from using white pages. You're going to stop me from using black pages. What's the bigger threat? Also, the coloring seems a little off on this. Panel. Oh, what to do, what to do. Um. Ooh, what do I do here? Um. New chain. Obietza. Okay. What to do, what to do. I think killing the Black Pages one is the best. So I'm already doing 15. That will bring it up to 30 in total. Plus it's extra stuff. Moon Brothers. That, that is dead. <clears throat> oh, sorry. And... Waste that card. Why not? There we go. Oh! 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 Multi-hit... Multi-hit attacks are great. It just only boost multi-hit attacks. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I am learning new synergies, and it's so amazing. Like, I wasn't expecting this level of synergy here. But uh, once you know how stuff works, you can make it work real good. 
Anyways, Pu An, an old place, ancient sorcery. Very short travel to find Oleshi. Ooh, you herbs. walk in circles around the glade with the ancient idols. Even putting your clothes on inside out doesn't help. You decide to look around. It seems as if some kind of Leshi's sorcery is at work. Let's grab her the herbs. Adam said, of course. Forest. Idols. Oh, more herbs over there. Um, forest. The old forest towers over you. It holds the memory of the ancient legend. While you look at the Chort idols, you think about all the evil spirits that have disappeared without a trace since that time. Encyclopedia page. We know Ugric beliefs. The contemporary Russian motive, uh, motif of throwing items over a gully or a river was originally a finno ugric practice. It's found in mythological stories told by Russians that describe the origins of mountains and rivers. Indigenous inhabitants told stories of pioneer settlers whose presence upstream could be detected by wood chips and shavings flowing down the river. From their neighbors, Russians almost directly borrow many of the characters in these stories. The bear progenitor, totemic ancestors, the capercaille, or pike. The bear and deer holidays of the Comian Vogel also had a strong influence on the development of some of these mythological narratives. Okay, interesting. So, like, one mythology leads into another. Continue on. Um, let's go gather the herbs before doing anything else. Thank you. Oh, 60 witch. 66 herbs. Old idols, idol spell. Pagan idols with some chewed pattern. I've seen similar on the plagues they find in fields. Pagan idols with Okay, some same thing pattern. again. I, I really wanted... I'm wondering where Proshka is. Is Proshka Voipel... It would be very helpful to have a guard on our side to make it out of here. But I suppose he's off, hopefully, with Nicolet, making sure he's safe. But, uh, let's do this spell. This idol seems enchanted. Old Chort sorcery is still strong here. You can try to untangle this Zagavar. I don't see anything else to do, so might as well. What have we got? Go back. Oh, okay, okay. So, line everything up. What have we got? Um. Huh. What is the correct pattern here? Come on, mouse. There's that. That's somewhat easy. That part lines up with that. Um, let's see, let's see. None of these really look right. Maybe it's not that phase. Maybe it's a different one. No, no, there's only one face on this. Okay, so that's very clearly the front. See, how do I... No, that's not right. Center, weirdly. That doesn't really look right either. Hmm. There's that. Probably that and that then. Hmm. Is that not it? Hmm. Let's try, like, rotating it to one. Interesting. How is this actually supposed the There we go. <laughs> the idol fits into place. You feel as if the it's pretty specific apparently. It looks like the road is clear now. That was not entirely easy. 
Like, I basically knew what it was supposed to be. It was just trying to get it to line up properly, apparently, was the problem. We can go. Boris Sin. Here I will face Ladeshi. I'm assuming we're not fighting this one, right? We just have to wake him up. I'm assuming he's not going to attack us for saving his forest and him. Rock? Herb? Adam's head, thank you. I'm stuck on a tree. Hello, ah, friend. Lisa. It's time to wake my father up. Are you ready? Um, one second. Go back, I didn't even say it. Rock. A strange rock. Looks like it's moving. It can be. A strange rock. Oh, is that actually like the Reishi? Lisa. Um, I don't see anything else. There's just the one herb, and the only other thing we can interact with is the moving rock. So, let's be, let's go, Karnish. Let's wake your father. Karnish, not Karish. Ready? Ready. When he wakes up, I'll be dead with here. He still has to teach a lesson to my older brother. Okay, so he didn't actually absorb your brother. Okay. Maybe you'll take me with you before you know it. I'll become a lashy on my own. Are we gonna get another pseudo god to travel with us? Agree. I'm good with this. Very well. A helper like you will come in handy. <laughs> another pseudo god. Yes. We're gonna collect a whole bunch of them. All right then. Let's do this. The Raven starts to read an unfamiliar zagavar in a foreign language. With each minute, his raspy voice grows even quieter. It crackles like moss in piney woods. Soon, you feel the earth beneath your feet. It feels like the further we get into the game, the less proof reading and whatnot they did with their dialogues. <laughs> that's, that's my one real critique of the game so far. It, the further we go, the less polished it feels. But let's continue on. Oh, that's an eyeball. I... Oh, pine tree. What is our giant forest friend doing? Wait, where are we? We are now on an island. Are we in the Lacey's domain? Like, is this like a separate <laughs> dimension? <laughs> What's going on here? Mushroom. That was very clearly a mushroom game. Wormwood grass. Curse three on an enemy. Interesting. That's a new one. Herbs, please. Break herb. There we go. Any else? Oh, that looks like an herb. Thank you. Hold on. In. Those are, that's a good one. A submerged church. It's bell tower just above the water. Hold on. This is just just sort of kept walking. Come on. There's probably a second line of dialogue. Vesalisa. Come on. It's. It's, it's not that difficult. What kind of strange place is this? A submerged church. It's bell tower just yeah. above the water. Come on. Go walk, Vesalisa. Is this a sea or an ocean? What a beauty. I've never seen such a thing. Is this a sea yeah. or an ocean? What a beauty. So, we, are, we definitely got transported somewhere is when the Leishi woke up. No idea... Um, I think that was Breaker. I think I saw something about getting rid of shield. Either that or it was the herb that gives us shield. Oh. Uh, there's, there's an opening here, but I can't go through. Any other herbs to gather? We're reaching the top, which I'm assuming I means we're... There's the... Oh, herbs. Come on. Peter's Cross. That's a decent one. Altar Black Book. Can we look at the altar, please? Can we not be stuck, please? 
Vessel Lisa? Um, game? Game, are we stuck? Can I? There we go. This white stone sure is full of power. A murmur beneath it looks like a water stream. This white stone sure is full of power. But, uh, the black book sits on an altar. Your book lies on a snow white altar. The white stone faintly crackles and trembles, barely able to contain the power of the ancient artifact. Take the book. Um, this is King Solomon himself would be humbled and awed. Hi, friend. What's going on? Where are we? Don't you recognize this island? You used to speak of it so often. Never mind now. Ah. Uh -huh. You opened yet another lock. There is but a small matter that remains. A trifle. Just two more obstacles in our way. Who would have thought that a simple witch from Vilgort would make it this far? I mean, there wouldn't be much a game if we weren't special. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Wait, do we have to go through the whole theatrics of all that? You couldn't have just popped up like you usually do? <laughs> Although I have to admit, it was a pretty good, it was a pretty good entrance. <laughs> I just want my wish to come true. And it will once we're all powerful. And so it will. Don't you doubt it. Soon you will reach your goal, and the book will lose its seals. The deeds. What do you mean? What deeds? I just want to bring back my beloved. Oh, and you will eventually. The main thing now is be punctual and not miss your chance. We won't. We'll break the next seals in quick order. Very soon now, the sun will reach its zenith. Only on that day can one find the fern flower. Um, so the summer solstice is in a few days, is what I assume that means. The scene is like the topmost point, which would mean the day in which the sun's the most visible, being the summer solstice. The fern flower is the next seal, the seal of the fern? Is that what it is? Yes, it is. That makes sense. We'll read more into it in a second. Don't miss it, Vasilisa. Hurry! We haven't come this far for nothing, have we? No, we have not. We'll break all the seals. We will succeed. Seals one after another with ease. And each time your power grows. And the demons can sense this and flock to serve you. I mean, we have so many in the pastor, and then we just convinced a pseudo god to come with us too. <laughs> Soon it will be enough. To free him? with your beloved the wish will the book really make my wish come true when I break all of the seals this is what the legend says it's been a long time since the locks of this ancient artifact were opened the legend is a most stubborn thing it lasts for ages Changing ever so slightly, adapting to its host like a parasite. Hmm, I suppose that is true. Like, we have so many encyclopedia pages already saying, like, this isn't the original myth. Here's what actually started it and how it changed over time. Like, there's so much of that just in, like, these segments. 
So, yeah, well, I suppose if what they if the legend is actually true and dates back, our wish shall be granted, but there's a chance that that's not even the full truth. It grapples onto him with tentacles of myth and magic, and the moment he looks askance, it changes into something new on the spot, hiding meaning behind the veil of omission. According to legend, your wish is what lies behind the seven seals. All the knowers say so. Yeah, that's some, uh, cryptic wording there. Like, perhaps it's not all it's cracked up to be. Is that true? Beloved. What of my beloved? Where is he now? I know that he has but 40 days. In this time, he will traverse all the aerial tall houses, and his soul will find its place. I could perhaps put in a word for him to my demon acquaintances, but I see no point in that, for you yourself will be able to help him. I could put in some words in order to help him out, but I don't think I'll need to with how you're going. Still, you need to hurry. Old Yegor was right. After the 40th day, even the book won't be enough to get him back. Okay, so last two seals. Break him immediately. Got it. I think we're good to say goodbye with that. Time for me to go to Vilgert. Two more seals remain. Actually, at the rate we're going, what episode is this? It's like 33, I believe, right? I have to double check that real quick. Yes, this is episode 33. The series probably won't reach 40, which means we'll actually make it in time, which is kind of cool. <laughs> yes, time is wasting. We will meet again. That I believe. Oh, yeah, that also. Actually, the pattern, I, I was discussing last time how there's a pattern where every time we break a seal, the gap between them gets equally shorter. Like it's 11 between 1 and 2, 9, 7, and then it was just 5. So if it continues, we'll break another seal in 3 episodes, and then it will be back-to-back -back breaking the seal episodes. So, uh, I think we'll make it. It's gonna be close. We might actually make it just in time for the 40 days, which would be kind of thematically fitting. <laughs> but anyways, goodbye, friend. We'll see you when the other seals are broken. And we're home, finally! What about our birdie friend? Did he come with us? Oh. Igor! Old Igor? Vasilisa. Oh, Lord. I was beginning to get worried. We could have run out of time. Where were you? Trapped in a forest by a Lashi. Oh, Grandpa. I'm here now. Everything's fine. Lashis have led me astray, but I managed to get out. You taught me well. And I've broken the seal as well. Oh, you did. Well then, we may make it yet. I thought that friend of ours has gotten to you at last. But now... Not him. It wasn't, it wasn't Alexander this time. Alexander? Yes, I remember the old tricks, though. I do. A broken needle and pierced the door. Lock a Kuldun up. One can lock up a Kuldun, that is, prevent him from leaving a room. To do this, when a Kuldun enters the house, you can put an oven fork, prongs facing upward, by the door. Or stick a sewing needle with a broken eye into a bench. Another way to accomplish this task is to sit on a wooden bench and stick a finger into a knot in the wood. While saying the words, I plug up this knot to keep this cursed mage locked. Interesting. Caught him? I did, but he managed to get away. His shorts helped him. I'm ah. not so good with demons these days. But I still have some power left. So if Alexander was here while we were gone, what was he up to? Don't worry. I'll get to him. You will. I'm sure of it. 
Let me call Nikolai, since you're here. We have to finish that damn wedding before Abdiricha shows up to get back her daughter. So Nikolai is okay. Yay! I feel that we're running out of time. It'll be all right. We'll marry them off this evening. I didn't waste my time. I put a couple of spells on that couple. They'll live happily ever after. Good. That's the best we can hope for. We'll, uh, we'll get them properly married yet. That Alexander. He started this cursing business with a wedding, and now he won't be able to stop. When the wedding starts, he'll be drawn to it by his shorts, even against his will. <laughs> so he's literally going to get dragged back into our clutches. Yes! Revenge will be ours! I will meet him by the Church of the Trinity, then. Don't be too fond of your new boyfriend, though. Don't chase him. Don't forget about the seal. He isn't my boyfriend. What are you talking about? Then again, we'll have to break the next seal on Ivan's day, right? Okay. Well, less than a week is left. Okay. What? I thought I had more time. I mean, we were stuck in the forest for like five days or something like that in game. You say the leshies got to you. Ha! <laughs> Good thing that you escaped now and not a year later. You know how it is with these evil spirits. Wait a moment. We have to prepare the ritual then, and fast. Ah, so you remember what I taught you. Yes, we need threads from a monastery, a towel from a church, an Easter knife, and candles. Okay, okay. So, what ritual is this? Something about Ivan's Day. When we were talking about before, I'm assuming that's their name for the solstice. Summer solstice, specifically. And a uh, monastery, threads, towel from a church, Easter knife, Make candles. From someone who died of fever. Okay, what is this ritual for? Good. I taught you well, it seems. Don't you fret, Vasya. I've started searching for the items already. Here are the threads from the monastery. Okay. You won't be scared. Ooh, thank you. Today's belief is but a tangled skein. Skein? Where do the old ways end and the new ones begin? Herbs and healing zagavers are at store plus five. That's pretty good. I won't stop halfway. And I'll get the other items. We're almost there. Items. Ritual, I rot. Oh yeah, he's dead. Items. Where will we get all these items? I don't know yet. I bought these threads at the fair. But the others aren't so easy to find. I mean... Yeah, I can see where it might be difficult to find a candle made from the wax of a person who died. From a fever, specifically. I think we'll get some in the Church of the Trinity. The priest will help. And if he doesn't... We'll persuade him. <laughs> ritual? That ritual is quite scary. What is this ritual for? I'm curious. Of course. That's why no one goes around showing off that flower. Everyone would have wanted such a helper. What is, what is this ritual they're talking about? Is it the... Uh, let's read this real quick. The fern seal. And the seas run dry, and the stones turn to sand, and the seal remained closed. And thus shall it be till the end of time... Till you find the flower of fern. Okay, this flower of fern, something's different about it. The ones who had the guts all were killed by Satan. Oh, lovely. I think I'll manage. I saw a lot of these demons already. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we've dealt with demons before. We'll be fine. Yes, yes. You must be the only one capable of this feat. Pupala is nearby and will be ready. Pupala? Kupala Knight, also called Ivana Kupala, is a Christian variant of a pagan rite that took place on the summer solstice of June 24th, July 7th, New Style. The Orthodox variant is meant to coincide with John the Baptist's birthday, but the holiday has stayed pagan in essence. People prayed to John, Ivan, the Baptist, to relieve headaches and bless their children. On the morning of Ivan, people prepared, prepared a whole grain porridge, kutia. They did so on all the other transition cycle holidays, 
on days that opened the borders between worlds. Slavic paganism it probably had no specific deity by the name of Kupala, which is simply a folk variant of the name John the Baptist. After all, children are baptized by being dipped in the closest body of water, or in a baptismal font, Kupel in Russian. Okay, so definitely the solstice had that right. Ayarats. I know that you're the one to blame for the death of Ayarat's wife. You sent the fire snake that killed her. So what? As if you don't send demons for jobs yourself. You can't know everything that they're doing out there. Only later I realized what they had done. I told him about the Leshi to earn some rubles. Those were tough times. Okay, so you killed her and then bl blamed the Leshi, and then he almost got us killed by trying to kill a Leshi, and then he himself died. Or would you rather die from hunger, eh? <sighs> Big sigh. Well, what's done is done. He'll finally be able to meet her now. Okay, so I, I don't think there was any way he was making out of there alive. But I think we're good to go. Let's do it. Let's go to business before we're too late. Go after Kolya while I prepare Zagavars. Right. Yay! Karnish is here! <laughs> Rushka! Let's, let's look at the news. Let's look at the new pages real quick. Bruce Seal, what have we got? <laughs> Tickling. <laughs> oh, that card's going in. Well, Aspen, give ourselves vampirism. That's nice. Swipe Eternal, Lazarus. Swipe six, Eternal, Damage Absorption one. So shield, and then the next time we get hit, we don't take damage. Wipe to give us health a one up. These are some good cards. Hold on, hold on. What do I want to replace? Um, tickling. I'm gonna just buy a copy immediately. It's just a question of what do I want to replace it with. Replace with it rather. Um, what do I want? I mean, it's just a better Ognayastra. But I could have multiple... I, I could get more of it. It's... Hmm. Um, one copy of Kane can go. Like that. What am I doing? I'm gonna... I can do this next time, because I'm about to end off here. Whatever I do is not going to get saved. But uh, we're going to have to remember these are here, because these are some cool looking cards. But, uh, running out of inventory space. Next time we meet, next time we reach a shop, I'm going to have to some, st sell some of this stuff off. Ugh, words are hard. But, uh, would it be time to get rid of the, uh, if we could give ourselves vampirism, would it be good to get rid of this or replace it with something else? Although, the extra health is just still really nice, and Vampirism for the first two turns just to heal up whatever we lose. No, no, no. I, th I think our current layout is probably still my favorite layout we have. I mean, do I care about levels at this point? I mean, reaching level 19. Which is a long way away. That's the only real thing I care about. I'll get these three things next, just, just to have them, so shielding's a little bit better, but I'm not caring that much about shielding. Like, I'm basically trying to kill everything. I'll take a minimum amount of damage that I can, but I'm not blocking everything most of the time. So, uh, getting rid of the wolf fang might not actually be that bad. But, uh, let's speak with Karnish and Proshka. Let's start with Proshka. Well, welcome like back. Sir? What a glow. I don't know how to address you now. This is exactly the same. We, we just got back from being gone for a long time. That's, why'd I click on that? We've already seen all that. Oipel just doesn't care that we were lost in the forest for a while. But he, he must have gotten home with Nicolet though, which is good, I suppose. But, hello, Karnish. Get lost! Shh! I'm fed up with you! Flapping about with those <laughs> big wings of yours. Psh, 
<laughs> Don't you have any work to do? There, uh, go count the splinters in the yard. Not a normal short that you can just tell to do stuff like that. Wait, Grandpa. It's Vorsa's son. I brought him from Nimzia. Huh? Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, forgive an old man. <laughs> My vision is not what it used to be. Uh, welcome uh, to our home. Oh, 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 sorry, future forest master. I forgot my manners, sorry. Arr, arr. <laughs> Don't mention it. Don't. I know that shorts can take any form. They learned it from us. <laughs> Vorsa. Tell me some more about you, Leashis. I've been here long since before the first people came. It used to be all woods here. A few meadows, a few animals such as you, few. So we're animals to you. I mean, technically speaking, we are. Like, by definition, humans are animals. What else? What? You can only speak like us. Us. Then came the first of you with your new spirits. Chewed spirits, the dead. And then came your chorts. You were the master of force who were here long before any of you came along with your new vangled demons and whatnot. <laughs> we Lashies don't care. We live in the woods. Mind our own businesses. You're animals. All right, but not the kind that we command. No. We can only play pranks on you in the forest. Car, car. Okay. Carnish. Can you tell me about yourself? yourself? You're a son of Vorsa, aren't you? Right. Right. Borsa takes a wife from time to time. Oftentimes, it's an animal of your kind, human kind. They give birth to lashes such as Philemon. Sometimes he takes animal for wives. That's how I came to be. Okay, so he took the form of a raven and mated with a raven and got a raven-shaped child? Okay. Borsa has a household like every other Leshi, and it needs to be looked after. But our master fell asleep, and there's disorder in our domain. Squala! Squala! Carr! Carr! And Philemon, what happened to your brother? What happens to your brother now? Philemon is older, older! He's the heir, heir! He's not dead, no, he will show up soon. We'll help father learn the ways of the world. <laughs> Okay, so we didn't kill his brother. We just sent him away for a little... We just banished him for a while, I suppose. Father woke up, so now he will teach Philemon. Teach. <laughs> Won't he try stealing Nimzia again? Eh, if he knows what's good for him now. Who knows? Who? Car, car. But uh, anyways, goodbye for now, Carnish. We'll speak to you soon. I can't look at see at a journey to see what Carnish can do when he comes with us. Curious, though. We'll have to see that next time when we go through all the villagers and get ready to leave. But for right now, this is a good place to end off. So, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.